What's going on everyone, it's TV, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to auto farm big chests. Yep, these chests over here. So I just broke this one, but you know the chests that are inside the world. I'm talking about those, not the little ones. I'm not talking about the stuff that gets spawned by, you know, inside the areas over here. Those are small chests, AKA mini chests. I'm talking about the big ones. So if you look at the map, you'll see these markings, it says chest, so Underworld has one, Beach has one. No Path Forest has one right here. And then where we're at right now is Heaven Gates. That has one as well. Now they do take 10 minutes to respawn at a time. So it takes a long time to complete this. You know, if you're just staying on the same server, it's not going to work out so well. It's going to take you an eternity to complete these achievements. And with the clan battle going on, yeah, you kind of need that because everyone's trying to grind achievements. We're actually doing, by the way, pretty well. We're at number seven. Uh, we moved quite a bit up, you know, like I said we would. And we're still climbing. Like we have a really, really great team going on right now. They're grinding hard and i think we're going to continue to climb keep an eye out but with this you obviously have the achievements and there's four achievements in here you got the treasure hunter it's only 150 you got 500 and uh, even if you're not even inside the clan battle they got this chest breaker reward if you complete 5,000 big chests you get this 100 million diamonds enchant like it's worth 100 million right now i don't know if it got like projected or something weird but that's really really crazy it's worth 100 million again it dropped to like 32 million for a while and then it popped back up it is one of my favorite enchants in the game because it's so powerful it does so much damage especially against like meteors against um chests and such even lucky block it's a really really powerful enchant now this auto farm does require a macro so you know and pc so if you're on mobile i'm sorry mobiles this won't work for you um i like to use tiny task tiny task is awesome this is tiny task um if you go to the tiny task website it's tinytask.net this thing has been around for a long time make sure you get it from the official source here i like the zip version here not the um executable version because the zip version is portable you can pretty much just extract it onto your desktop and run it and it doesn't really require like it to install on your computer which i really like especially for security also one note if you um install this app it might like throw a virus warning i've never had a virus from tiny task the only thing that could uh raise a false alert for a false positive for a virus is the fact that it can record your key actions any kind of recording software obviously it's a security risk because it's recording your keystrokes so that's considered a virus typically by virus scanners but look install at your own risk all right i'm not responsible for anything that you do to your computer <laughs> that's just not gonna happen for me um i do want to just mention if you're gonna install this and use this a couple settings you're gonna want you're gonna want to make sure playback speed is times one that's basically normal speed you got continuous playback here that way it loops and then you got your recording keys and playback keys i like f8 for this and i like um control shift alt are because if you use f12 um and you know print screen they're already kind of used by roblox like print screen is just going to keep putting like screenshots on your computer and then uh f12 is used for recording i also like to keep always on top that we can always see like what's going on with tiny task you can stop it control you know all that that's what we're going to use i like to use dual monitors for this setup it's a little bit faster but i'm going to show you how to not use dual monitors because most people don't have two monitors i have four monitors i'm kind of out of the usual right i'm a content creator of course i'm gonna have multiple monitors especially for my live streams and then next question in your mind is db why do you need four monitors listen I have OBS recording so I can see my recording of my video on one screen, okay? I've got another screen for my chat, you know, live chat, rotated sideways so I can see a ton of chat at once. And then the other one, like I said, is for like Discord or, you know, if I'm looking up stuff or maybe I'm watching a video or something while I'm grinding. So yeah, I mean, dude, I need monitors, okay? I need more of them actually. So I'm gonna assume you only have one monitor. Again, this is gonna be fully automated so you can pretty much leave your computer running like for eight hours and you'll be farming big chests all night that's just crazy right it's really cool but first let me uh just ask you if you could do me solid hit that like button if you've been struggling with grinding pet sim and subscribe if you're new to the channel and like pet sim 99 videos because i've been doing a lot of videos on this game lately and it's fun all right so enough of me babbling let's get into how to do this all right because you're probably thinking like db there's no way you're automating this there's no way it's three minutes yeah we're gonna be clearing a server less than a minute each okay so how this is gonna work is you need to first have the macro recorder if you're gonna use tiny task that's all i'm gonna be showing you how to do today you could try it with some other macro recorder if you're experienced great you'll probably be able to figure this out really quickly just following the same steps so we're gonna take roblox out of full screen mode we're just gonna hit alt enter here that way we can see our task bar and we're gonna see running here i've got obviously my video recording software so you don't have to worry about that i've got tiny task here which you already see up here i've got the game which is the roblox icon and then i've got my browser now what you're gonna want on the browser is the server list so let me show you how to get to that if you're on the pet sim 99 page here on roblox you're gonna scroll down make sure you're doing it inside uh, a browser by the way you can't do this through the game okay so like if you're going back through the app you need to use 
the browser. You're going to go and click on servers right here. And then you're going to scroll down to other servers here. And you can see it says like number of players. Um, by default, it should show descending. So you'll see a bunch of like bots. I mean, uh, default looking characters. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is click on ascending and you should see pretty empty servers. And then um, before we start recording, I want to show you what we're going to be doing. So first of all, make sure you have your enchant set to tap power. Um, I have, I just have excessive tap power here right now. You don't need to do this. I just don't need any other enchants technically. Depending on your power, by the way, you might have to linger a little bit longer in each area. Um, so if you're working on this chest here and you don't break it immediately, you're going to have to just linger a little longer. Just basically, you're going to do some more rotations, all right? So that's fine. Just depends on your power. Just rotate until you break it and you're recording. Uh, a couple things I want to make sure you know is when you're doing teleport, when we're recording the teleportation, make sure you're using the puck here, the um, the scroll bar thing. Uh, it, we call them a puck, but I forgot what else. There's another word for it. But right here, see this little gray box here? Don't use your scroll wheel because your mouse scroll wheel will not get recorded or picked up by Tiny Task. So make sure, I don't know why it could be, it, maybe it varies depending on the mouse, but mine does not record. So I use this and I drag it down, okay? The other thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using your arrow keys to rotate. You're not gonna be using your right mouse button. So see how I'm rotating the camera? Do not do that during the recording, all right? Don't do this, okay? Make sure you're just using your um, right arrow key, left arrow key, either of those are fine. And then you're gonna keep your mouse pretty much within range. So see where um, the chest is. You're gonna pretty much keep your mouse within the, like, basically in the middle of the screen while you're rotating and just make sure that chest breaks during your recording. Hopefully this all makes sense. I'm gonna pretty much power through this. I'm gonna talk a little bit, but you're gonna see me like blasting through this as fast as I can because we wanna get that really, really low time for this recording. All right, so let's get recording. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that record. We're gonna go immediately down to here. We're gonna hit refresh. We're going to go to the first server here. Get focus on this by clicking on it. Give it like three seconds just to load. And then we're going to go there. We're going to go down to beach. We're going to go pretty quick. All right. Rotate. Got it. Go down to underworld. Got it. Next zone. No path. Rotate. Got it. Heaven Gates. Got it. All right. And we're going to stop the recording. So ideally, you're not going to click on your uh, mount like I did, but that's okay. I think you can disable that in here. Titanic mounts. It was off, but whatever. Now what we can do is we can go and hit run. Let's watch it in action. Now you can speed this up a little bit having dual monitors. I had it um, pretty much exactly three minutes. My macro was It's going a little slower because I'm used to having dual monitors. I don't have to click on that bottom bar. I don't have to wait and you know, it just saves so much time clicking on that. Um, but you can see it's going fully automated. I'm not touching it at all. There's no chest here, unfortunately. So hopefully we're going to find another chest somewhere else. It looks like someone's already picked this one up. No chest there. And it's okay. Sometimes you're not going to get them. Sometimes you're going to, you know, compete with someone else, especially after people start watching this video. They're going to, you know, yeah, this, this was hit like six minutes ago. Yep. That's all right, though, because we're just going to loop this. There it goes. It's going to a new server. Now, typically, I'm not showing this, but typically we like to hit three servers at a time before hitting refresh. So if you're going to do this, make sure you do like three servers. I just didn't want to have to go through this whole like process showing the recording. But um, if you're going to do this, I would record joining the three servers in that first list or even four servers. That way you have a chance to not accidentally like hit the same server. Chest right there at Sandcastle. Already broke it. And yeah, this one's over, I think, a minute right now. I think we can speed this up. I might show you the sped up version. Again, this is like completely automated. I'm not doing a thing. Same exact rotations of mouse. Same amount of time that I wait in between. There is some variation. Sometimes you got to be careful with if like Roblox lags or something weird. Your camera movement might lag a bit. There it goes. We got the sandcastle again. Um, typically sandcastle, if you do the correct rotations, you're not going to like, you don't have to rotate twice. Make sure we get that chest. Yep. There it is. Boom. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you're probably wondering, DB, okay, with this whole method, how long is it going to take me to complete this quest? So with this particular achievement, you have 6,600, 7,150, okay? Because you have to add up all these. So it's 7,150. So you're averaging about maybe three to four chests per minute. If you fully automated this for 24 hours a day, you would complete this in about 39 hours. Anyone telling you you can complete it faster than that is probably lying to you because there's no guarantee you're always going to get a chest. That's why I kind of just averaged it down to three per minute because we might miss some. Now, for those of you that don't want a macro, um, best thing I would say is just like arm here for your chest, whatever you're farming for, and just auto click the chest right here. And you should be fine. Like if you're AFK, just auto click in here. You don't have the ability to macro, just auto click right here and you'll break the chest every 10 minutes automatically. So yeah, anyway, good luck with this. I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments below if it did. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy grinding. Peace.